heading into the wood lot. Okay, old key here. Looking pretty good there, man. Nice. There we go. Get some wood and have a little lunch. section over here but we don't cut the pine trees unless they fall down you know across the road but uh Like coming in here and uh the road's pretty clear right now because i cleared it out the last time i was here but uh another big section of ridge over there you know, glaciers go down in there I got all that too <clears throat> and over here but uh so we're sticking up there let's uh Critters roaming around here once in a while. I might bump into them, but uh, be nice to see. Nice old tree up there. I should get one of these days. Uh, once the well, it seems like they marked a couple trees for me, but I'll take them down. They have rule two people, and I agree with it. Um, you know, when you take a tree down, safer. I see a lot of blowdowns here. So good. Big tree. I'm gonna get a good look at it over there. What's well, hard to hard to tell? Let me just. Uh, I'll take a picture of it and then uh, maybe you can back. It's a pretty big oak tree over there. Storm actually blew that one down. They got trees marked there, so I got. Oh, looks like. Uh, hmm. Let's see what we got here. Looks like some kind of little scrape going on uh, right down in there. A little activity. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, shut this off. I'm going to back in right over here. Back in. I mean, it's a big tree. You can't tell from the picture, but uh, very big. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back in there. I have some trees down already, and I'll get that. Unless my son took it. I think it's still there. I don't know. But, um, and I'm gonna cut wood and then maybe have lunch. So that's what I'm doing here. I was going to Eskimo in my uh, little Dodge to 
Dakota Sport. I don't have the four wheel drive on, I should probably put it on. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna back in there and uh, put all my gear on and uh, start cutting some wood. It's uh, a little breezy out here, it's about 40 degrees. Nice fall day, man. So that's what we're doing here. So when you ask Bill Ride, you take care. A little Kelly axe there, felling axe, splitting it. Splits them with good saw. Oh, okay, I split some here because bigger pieces, so I don't want to carry them tired, you know. So get that stuff there. But uh, yeah, get all this out of here. This dropped down a little bit, so I got some pieces there. They're decent size pieces, but uh, then I'll tackle that with my. I have a big husky, and uh, I have to put an oil around it, and then I'll cut that. But basically, did that, and then I just wanted to split some of this up. Of course, I always look at wood, and I'm well, gonna make a spatula or spoon out of it. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this stuff on the truck. I'm gonna make some lunch. Noodles again, but a little better noodles to scoop up with a spoon. They're not long and stringy, and I don't have to make all kinds of crazy noises uh, eating it. So, but uh, so I'll get back to you. Let me just throw this in the truck. Beautiful day. It took a while here, but uh, yeah, it was. I mean, you can't beat it. You know, it's just, just awesome out here, man. God's country out here. It's good stuff out here. A little staff over there too. But uh, so I get back to you. Small MSR. These nose are a little better. <clears throat> they're not they're not stringy. You can nip with a spoon or fork. We'll see, see how it goes now. I did it before, but uh, better than the other ones from China. They're good though. Um, and this is low sodium. It doesn't say low sodium. It just has low sodium. It tastes really good. You don't have to worry about the herb box is a little high in sodium. It's good stuff. But uh, it's great for this. Highly recommend getting some of this stuff. So I got back to you. I'm going to Pour some water in there and get this bad boy going, man. Put this in after. There's the water in here just to use it up. 
gonna make some tea with the canteen cup after too. So, but, uh, feel pretty, I feel pretty good today. I mean, last couple of weeks I worked out a bit too much, let's put it that way. But, uh, but I felt real good. Still do. Thank God. But, uh, let's see here. Might as well fill this up while I'm at it, too. Just a backup and more in the truck too. And uh, get this puppy going. My little Rocco slash more knife here. I feel right. I keep one in my pocket too, but uh, well, I last time I used this at the hammock, Piazza worked. So let's see if it works again. This is the uh, Ozark Mountain stove. I have several stoves, but I'm still kind of reviewing this to try it out. So, okay. First shot. Worked down, man. I don't know. Probably before. Forget about the stand, though. That I made a little piece of wood though. Oop, there. Put this over here. Maybe in the corner. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Not there. Um, I think I'm going to put the deflector on. It's good. I'm going to let that go. I'll get back to you. When I'm done, I'm going to put this uh, body of Sasson on there. It comes in a jar or in packets. And it's, it's much better for you. It tastes really good. We're gonna let this go. It's a little breezy today. Uh, I don't know if it's still in the 40s. Might be. So we'll see. But uh, after the submission, we got lots of wood. So I'm too bad that get back to you. See, she's uh, just boiled up real nice on that. Real nice. Oh yeah, it's good. What's up, man? I have a top for my uh, canteen cup. But not with me, so I'm just using this old boat wheel thing there. Um, put the sasson in there. I had my, believe it or not, I, I had my barrel wrap. So, so that's in my hand. I did it one, one time, and I, I don't know what happened to it now. I always, always cook my noodles, um, put the water in and the noodles, and then cook it. I don't wait till the water boils with this particular operation. I got my hot sauce too. So 
a real good hot sauce. Diablo, I think from uh, Wyndham, Connecticut, right at the garlic festival. But this is quite good. More than enough for lunch, I mean, it's really good. This is, yeah, nice. I'm gonna let that set a bit. Pipes are coming. I don't know what I did with that fairy rod. Tried me completely nuts. It's a nice one too. Let's see. Gotta be something. Could be under there. I don't know. Okay. Well. Let's see. So in my pocket, I have another ferro rod. I have a lighter in the bag. One or two different kinds of matches. Lighter. And, uh, I got back up with the guys. Look at this, man. Look at this. See that? I found the fair rod. There it goes, man. Got the cell happens. Maybe I should do some orange tape on there or something. I'm very happy now. Yes. See what happens when you get old, man. Or shall I say, I just have to pay attention to detail. This particular knife. I always keep in the truck along with a Schrade SEHF 36 Chronosaw full axe, two hatchets, a uh, Hutz Brook, and a Norlin in the truck all the time. Um, pocket knife here. I still saw me knife from my Q38. I took it out, did something with it, I don't know what I did with it, not, not today, so I have to look, look for that, but um, also in in my pack, I have another knife, knife in this bag also, so we have stuff, I mean, definite shelters and everything else, so, but, almost, so it just, even with the fork this time, it's not as bad, you know, it just makes it look nice. Mm. There we go. There we go. Yeah, see? Pretty good, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I got Dragon Pro Jasmine tea. Honey and sauce. Look at tea from it. Good stuff, man. It's like little pearl. Let me show you what it looks like. It's kind of cool. And it's uh, excellent tea. Wow. Silk bag. Look at that silk bag, man. Come on. Hey. You think I am? Huh? You see the little, the little pearls in there? The round pearls in there? Excellent stuff, man. Excellent. Definitely. Always take the tag off, because sometimes the flame will catch this on fire. Especially guys, the people over in the UK and Ireland, different places drink a lot of tea. Here too. 
leave that little thing down there in the kitchen's on fire, you can get something on fire. But, uh, ah, you bloody cook. Stupid cook. There we go. Don't make a mess. Clean up. This is, this is fantastic. It's the way to go. And it doesn't have a load of sodium in it. It's just, it's really good, man. Oh, that is good. It's one of the forks I made. Mm. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. I'm hungry too, man. Accomplish our mission today. You know, I look a little fat. The camera makes me look fat. I still am, but uh, I lost more weight. So. Pretty good. Um, mm. Mm -mm. That is good. I got these noodles in that, so I found in an Asian store. And I like these noodles because they're easier to just take a pop. Easier to uh, eat. Beautiful. Even with the fork, you know. I don't know if you can see it. Two stars of glare. When my work is not done, I have to unload this when I get home. So I'm eating here. Starting to steam, I don't know if you can see it. Canteen cup. You see, here's a big canteen cup Tuesday. There you go, man. Yes, canteen cup. Nice tea. There you go. Steaming away. Just to let you know, the, the jet boil canisters work better in cold weather than a lot of other ones. So there's a couple others, especially if you buy them up north. Um, just to let you know. Um, they look good in the cold weather. Jet oil, I kind of like the jet oil. Uh, the jet oil stand for the larger, small canisters is definitely better. And you can, uh, see that's, that's boiling up real good right now. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. You have to get that off. Maybe I could just turn it on, let's see. Well, she's boiling away, man. Turned it down. Still boiling away. Let it go a little bit because I'm not coming with my stuff here. But I got a so, my tea. I'm having a little pine bar. There you go. So I'll get back to when I'm having my tea. I'm gonna finish my noodles. And it's just gorgeous out here. Gorgeous. So, one time I was having lunch one time 
There was a coyote 30 yards from me. I think he came up from the valley. He didn't see me. I didn't see him. Uh, uh, I don't know. He didn't bother me. But I'm going to turn this down. There we go. And some of the water, excess water I had left over. Clean this up a little bit. Something here. I'll clean them when I get home too. But, uh, wanna... Stove worked good. I was able to uh, turn it down quite a bit. Um, Piazza worked good. But the stand, the Ozark one, forget about it. Not the way to go. Go chip oil. And the chip oil canister is a good too. Well, I'm going to... Uh, Clean this up when I get home, too. Perfect. I had two little rounds of noodles. You could get away with one easily. But, uh, yeah. So we're good here, man. Got the old spoon. Just let the tea cool off. That's pretty good. Um, still worked good. Went right down to a nice simmer. Which is cool. Still a little warm. Not much left in here. I got a backup. Just, uh, Cool just a little bit and then I can put the stove and the canister in here. So I put back in my pack over there. Very nice. We'll have our tea. So sort of side note. Get, get a chance to see the movie. I think it's called 13 or whatever, something like that. Well, in Thailand, when these soccer team and their coach went into this cave and got trapped in there, it starts out with subtitles, then, it, then it's not. Ron Howard, uh, I believe, made it and directed it. Um, if you look at it, a lot of spiritual things in there. There's hard work of the people, hard work of the Thai Army, decision-making higher up, the British guys that helped, um, just all around teamwork to get those people out of there. And it's an amazing, it's based on a true story. And it's, I think it's an amazing movie. Sit and watch it, kind of, you know, it, it gives, gives you a lot of hope, you know. Um, people working together and getting things done and and their faith and it just it was amazing man you know so so check that out pretty cool I couldn't do that but take care